Hey guys, just wanted to uh, showcase a new idea I had with the OP-1 and one of the things that I've been working on is a sample set and um, in this particular example I want to show you how to take a basic square wave and make um, something really useful as bass synth or like a lead synth 303-ish type of arpeggiation. So essentially, um, I, I'll go to the synth engine, I already have a square wave sound recorded and this is a direct square wave sample from my synthesis technology um, 300 VCO. Here's the raw square wave. And so I sampled that lower than C3 so that I can have it be really solid in the bass register. And it'll pitch up and sound really nice at higher octaves too. So first things first, let's take a look at the envelope and um, I'm going to drop the sustain to about here. Okay, and then um, what we'll do is we'll turn on the effect. I have this already actually set up, but essentially it's the nitro uh, filter, high passes all the way down and then the low pass control is a little less than halfway. And the resonance is up um, about halfway as well. So the thing we really want to do is turn the LFO on. And I'm using the element LFO, and what I'm doing is taking the signal from the envelope, applying a portion of it to the effects, to the nitro filter, and what I'm controlling is the low pass frequency. So we'll turn all this stuff off. So there's the raw sound, I'll turn the nitro on. You can see uh, it's all filtered down. When you bring the LFO in, so that's pretty cool. So now the LFO is essentially opening and closing the filter, similar to what you do in a modular world, but because there is only the one LFO in here, it also controls the volume as well as the filter. So let's make a quick sequence and then that is really where everything will come to light. So let me turn on sequencer and we're just going to do a simple three note sequence. C3, C3, C4. And uh, I'm not going to talk in the next part. I know a lot of people hate talking. Sorry about that, but kind of have to explain what's going on when you're tutori doing a tutorial. So let's turn this on and you're going to watch me go and adjust um, the envelope, decay time in particular. I'll adjust the frequency of the low pass here um, in the nitro, and then I'll also adjust the amount of envelope going to the filter. And you'll hear a wide variety of um, different sounds, different mono note bass tones that are all square wave, I should say.
that's basically it. Um, really cool. And uh, something you do, you can do, you can sample a sawtooth wave, you can sample a square wave, you can sample your own voice, but that technique of using the envelope to control the filter is extremely handy uh, inside the LP-1. So hope that's a helpful technique for you. Thanks again for stopping by and checking out another one of my videos.